first game back in 26, conditioning was going to be an issue. Is it at all? What's that, sir? <laughs> well, well, well. What are the odds? Not two months ago, Mark Stone was once again placed on IR, this time for a lacerated spleen. But what fortune? It was just two weeks before the trade deadline, thus allowing Vegas to go out and acquire Tomas Hurdle as well as Noah Hannafin. They then went on to secure the second wildcard spot to make the playoffs. So, with the Dallas-Vegas series set to begin today, like clockwork, Mr. Injured Reserve made it known he was ready to play. Even better, William Carrier was also activated from IR. Truly a miracle. Now quickly, I just want to show his three-year history. In February of 2022, he was placed on LTIR just before being activated days before the playoffs. Then February of 23, placed on LTIR just to be activated April 18th. And now this year, as I mentioned, placed on IR in late March and today, the first day of their playoffs, he's back again. Like Claw Awkward. And it went down just as you'd expect. Hannafin, Stone, and Hurdle combined for four points, but even then, I didn't see this coming. It was right out of the gate, just 20 seconds in, and Steele called for a high stick would get the Golden Knights right on the power play. And with Hurdle and Stone on the ice, it's Hannafin from the line, and they score. Guess who? It's Mark freaking Stone with the redirect in front to open the scoring. And I mean, come on. You can't even make this crap up. It's his first shift back and he looked pretty good. But it was a wild first in their own end now. Carrier into the open ice and right to Suter who would score. A brutal giveaway from Carrier. Suter with the shot, deflects, and the Stars had squared it up. Or did they? Vegas would go on to challenge it for offside and sure enough, Stars on the entry were in fact offside and so this one came right back. And instead of a tied game, it's Barbashev to Marcheseau and they scored again. Marcheseau right through the five hole to make it a two goal game. With that said though, Johnston from his own end sends a stretch pass to Ben in alone and he tucks it in to cut the lead in half. Just a sick pass from Johnston to the captain who with a little shake and bake beats Thompson. But just as they were getting momentum, it's another penalty. Marchment called for hooking a pretty weak sauce call if you ask me, but it gave the Knights another power play and immediately it's Hannafin again and deflected and they score again. And guess who this time? Tomas Hurdle, redirected from Hannafin, able to clean it up and just like that, they took back the two goal lead. But again, it was an action packed opening period and Stan Coven picking the pocket of Stone gets going, feeds Robertson and they score. A huge goal to answer to get them back to within just one late heading into the middle frame. But during that intermission, Stone getting the interview got absolutely showered with boots. I'm just wondering how you feel with your conditioning after the absence. Oh, it's okay. Um... With that, let's head over to the second, where it was just a minute in. McNabb just tossing one on net, scores through traffic, maybe hit something here, I don't know, but a brutal goal to give up as the Knights would take back the two-goal lead with four goals on just nine shots. And as crazy as the first period was, that was actually the lone goal of the second. Despite the Stars out shooting the Knights 9-3, to three, they somehow came out of it worse for wear heading into the third. And it had to be frustrating. They were definitely the busier team all night, but Vegas played tight, keeping the chances fairly low danger, and even when they did get in with numbers, it got blowing dead. And I don't know here. This one was close, but if it's close, just let it go and call it back if needed. But apparently they were just trying too hard, because Marchment lobbing one on net, and he scores. A completely harmless looking shot, as Thompson gives up an absolute muffin, and the stars, just like that, made it a one goal game with plenty of time. And while they definitely came alive getting some fantastic chances, Ottinger also making a big stop on his own end, it came down to Dallas having to pull their goalie. And while they pressed, again getting a few good looks, ultimately the Stars just ran out of time as the Vegas Golden Knights come into Dallas, Stone back in the lineup, and win it 4-3. to three. You guys let me know your thoughts down below, but that's about it for this one. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you in the next one.